William Parker, 17 years old, is second whipper in at the Kimblewick Hunt. His hunt country covers parts of Bedfordshire, Berkshire, Buckinghamshire, Hampshire, Hertfordshire and Oxfordshire. He is one of the new breed of hunt staff who are joining the mainstream of education. The government offers a range of qualifications called NVQs, which stand for National Vocational Qualifications. It means William will learn practical, work-related tasks designed to help develop the skills and knowledge to do a job effectively. Now you may ask, what does the government know about keeping hounds, riding horses and skinning stinkers? Well, the Masters of Foxhounds Association and Wiltshire-based Haddon Training have tailored an NVQ course in animal care which is relevant to hunting. It's done by other, other people working in the, in the animal industry, it's people working in zoos, grooming parlours, so it's a generic animal care NVQ, but we've tailored our course specifically for hunt learners who are working in hunt kennels. One of the modules on the course is one day on basic first aid and we join William at Oaksey House in Lambourne where it's taking place. William has been working at the Kimblewick since August 2010 and admits he has not come across a need for first aid yet. You've had fallers but then it's, it's not my responsibility in the nicest possible way. <laughs> I, I've been more worried about the hounds and what they're doing rather than the subscribers and what they're doing. <laughs> But we're about to go and do a bandaging up and that sort of wound dressing will probably be more relevant for, you know, when there's always an accident in the flesh house or something like that. That's the more likely to happen rather than my huntsman stops breathing. So, so far, huntsman's showing no sign of stopping breathing. No, he's fit and healthy. <laughs> So hunt staff are taking a course also done by people who work in grooming parlours for pampered pooches and are zookeepers. Do they fit comfortably into this group? Well, we feel very comfortably and we're, we're thrilled a bit to have this partnership with Haddon Training, um, between the MFH and, and Haddon Training, be, to allow the boys in hunt service and the girls that we now have in hunt service to leave with a qualification which is transferable, it has transferable skills to other areas in, in animal industries. So in, in the future, if the, you know, the youngsters leave hunting, they've got uh, employment or a prospect of employment elsewhere. It gives them basic skills like first aid, uh, they do key skills, some English, some mathematics, um, all wonderful life skills that they need for, for future employment in any sphere. Uh, we're also able to give them the theoretical side on, a cor on the course of uh, operating in hunt kennels um, and we can then, we, we're then going to actually assess them practically to ensure that they're, they're safe um, in their environment and that they have the skills to move on and pro provide us with the huntsman, first we're in and huntsman of the future. William believes the NVQ will help him towards his dream. In ten years time, where, where would you like to be? Ten years time, ooh, <laughs> somewhere nice. Uh, a, a nice pack, um, either sort of, I prefer to be a first whipper in of course in 10 years time, but uh, <laughs> something like that would be sort of perfect, I just, you know, it's what I've been training to do for all these past months and what I've decided to do for my entire life now more or less, I've signed up for a, a long time, so I want to get on and learn them as much as I can.